It is a welterweight matchup between Nate Diaz and Gunnar Gunny Nelson. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job. Folks, round one is underway. Good to have you with us tonight. This could be a very technical fight, and if you are someone who likes the jiu-jitsu game, this is not a fight you want to miss. We've got a different audience tonight, yeah. Because when this one was announced, the whole entire jiu-jitsu world took notice. They said, wow, we get to watch these two fighters compete in the UFC. It's something we've wanted for years. Just has to happen in the octagon. It did not happen in a jiu-jitsu competition but they're more than happy to tune in and watch this great fight. Big kick. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent defending the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him, to give him too much to process. He's got to get the fight to the ground. Nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys just start throwing up legs, chasing practice. Back and forth we go. Nelson gets caught with that punch. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Oh, and tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Diaz. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. He got his foot on it. Submission skills then took over. Big, big result for him early in round one tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know, this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 58 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Nate Diaz! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific...